Hi, I am Caroline Chang, the host and producer of Awake to Oneness Radio. I'm getting ready to go to the gym, so I'm kind of in my sweats, and I thought I'd do this um, video post before I uh, run off. <laughs> um, the thing I want to talk to you guys about today is, um, and anyone that has listened to my show, they've heard my introduction and how I speak about oneness and once mankind, humanity as a whole, awakens to the truth of oneness, there will be peace on earth. I want to talk about that. Um, what awoken me to the truth of oneness was what inspired my awakening was one sentence that was stated by Lynn McTaggart in the documentary film, What the Bleat Do We Know? And I have had the honor of having Lynn as a guest on my show. But the statement that Lynn made that inspired my awakening was, the biggest problem in the world today is the illusion of separateness. That one sentence rang so true in my heart, in my soul, it truly woke up something inside of me. Um, in truth, we are all connected. That is just universal truth. Um, that so is, it, science has proven it. Spirituality and ancient wisdom has been teaching about oneness for eons and mankind has chosen to forget we have chosen to forget who we are to have this experience now there's nothing really wrong with that <laughs> it's just it's time to wake up and remember who we are remember that we are all one literally all connected and when I say that will, of course, that will solve all of the problems on earth today. That one awakening, just awakening to the universal truth of oneness will solve every single problem. Not only would it put it into war, it would put it into crime, it will put it into poverty. Um, there would literally be heaven on earth once everyone on the planet awakens to the universal truth of oneness. Imagine if tomorrow, all 7 billion, I'm not sure, there's somewhere between 6 billion, 7 billion people on the planet now. Imagine everyone on the planet tomorrow morning awakens in different time zones. <laughs> um, but awakens to the fact that everyone on the planet is literally connected to me, a part of me. Um, I, I wouldn't, no one would want to hurt or harm another person, not only people, but plants, animals, the environment, everything. Mother Earth, Gaia is a li living being. And we wouldn't want to do anything to hurt Gaia because we know we're connected, literally connected to Mother Earth. So just that one simple awakening to the fact that we're all one, we would have, if everyone awakened to that truth, we would have peace. We would have not just peace, we would have heaven on Earth. Um, it would solve all of our problems. There would be no borders. There are no borders. There would be no separation. It, it's all about the separate, separate consciousness that we think we're separate beings. So that is why we act and treat people the way we do. But when we realize that we are not separate beings, that we are all one, that we are all connected, and can never be separated. We can never be separated from source, from God, from all that is, never. And we can never be separated from each other. We're all a part of God and we always will eternally. 
We are eternal light. We are eternal beings having a temporary human experience, limited human experience of our own creation. So that's a key too. No one's doing it to us. We have chosen to have this experience for our highest good, for our soul's evolution. So it's all good because it's all God. It's all unconditional love. And when mankind does awaken, like I said, it's not, I'm not teaching anything here. This is just for each of us to remember who we truly are and awaken to that truth. Then we will experience heaven here, right here on earth. And I believe we are, humanity is awakening one by one. Um, humanity is going through a consciousness shift and evolving to a higher dimension, a higher level. And we are all, we all chose to be here at this time to experience this awakening. So before I run off to the gym, Planet Fitness, I love, give a shout out to Planet Fitness. Um, before I go do my workout, I just want to share that simple truth of oneness, of unity, of unconditional love. That's where the unconditional forgiveness comes in. When you understand that no one is doing anything to you, it's just if you feel another person has harmed you, that person, that other is not separate from you. That other is united with you. And there was a soul agreement for whatever transpired to happen for each of yours, for that person and for your person, you, to your highest good. That happened, whatever it was. It happened for your highest good. So in truth, that's where unconditional forgiveness plays a role because we are sovereign. We are sovereign beings of light, meaning nothing can happen to us without our soul agreement from our higher self, from our soul self. And I look at everything. I look at life now as um, a dream of my own creation, but, and we're all, we're all, a, you know, got a role, playing our role. And we're all playing our role to the best of our ability. So, I understand unconditional forgiveness and I, act, I don't blame anyone for anything that's ever happened in my life. I take full ownership of everything that's happened in my life and I thank everyone in my life. Everyone I've ever come in contact with, I thank them for agreeing to take this journey with me and to help inspire my awakening like lynn <laughs> thank you lynn and thank you for being my guest i gotta contact you i need you back on the show okay i'm gonna get ready to do some working out because i haven't worked out enough this year new year 2019 i haven't been working out every day like i usually used to do and i'm gonna get back in the habit of working out every day so thank you for listening and watching I appreciate you guys, all of you. I love you so much. Be blessed because you are blessed. Namaste. Peace.